Oh, welcome back uh, to the Minder Cracker. Today we're gonna work on the Nether Hub East as the world struggles to update and load the chunks as we cruise through at blinding fast speed and then fly off of the tracks. Today we're working on the hub. Uh, apparently I need to take a few of these boosters out. I'll do that later, off cameras. I think the rest works okay though. Today we're working on the Nether Hub expansion. So we have some interesting shapes and some interesting ideas, but the whole thing is a little bland. It's a little bit bland. We're gonna try to spice it up. We're gonna add some splashes of color. I hope ends up okay. Um, if it doesn't, we'll, we'll try something else. That's my style of design. Keep trying things until something works. The brute force method of design. Uh, one thing I was looking at is that the sort of light highlight things I've been talking about in previous episodes look way way cooler and more viable if you put it on the moody lighting. Uh, it suddenly becomes a much more atmospheric place, but I, I don't expect anyone to switch to moody lighting every time they come by here. Look at these guys walking the tightrope. And that guy committing suicide right before our eyes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do a few things to the hub. Let me switch it back the video settings bright because that's just better for YouTube. And that's what everybody uses um, with very little exception. So we're gonna do a few things. There's a couple of problems with the current state of the Nether Hub expansion. One of which is it's a little bland. It's a, it's a bit monochromatic. I, I wanted to try and make something interesting just based on the shapes. And I was hoping that the shadows would provide the contrast that we would need. Maybe if we were making everything out of quartz, that would work because it would be white. The shadows would stand out more, perhaps. Uh, but I already have the Arcology, which is white glass and quartz. So I've been trying to avoid using quartz here and avoid using the, the white stained glass. Um, another, another problem is people being able to figure out where to go, being able to negotiate and navigate the thing. We're going to get rid of this bridge uh, sooner or later as we continue to work. So people need to be able to figure out where to go. And we're going to use the color for that. We're also going to work on these things. I decided that the windows needed to be more of a, uh, a more deliberate cut to show you where the paths are. Let's, uh, let's actually go over there. Uh, so I, I was working on this, trying some different things, trying to make the, the windows bigger. I tried doing this, where the the cut in the wall echoes these stairs, but I tried doing it with the with the smooth stone. Ooh, spooky noise! I tried doing it with a smooth stone so that it would keep the same uh, material shape and oh crap! <laughs> Can't get back up. And the the sort of zigzag, um, jaggy lines, diagonal lines, it just didn't look right. So I decided to go with this, and it looks right in terms of the shape, but now we have multiple materials. That's something we'll have to resolve later, but we're definitely gonna do this. So now, when you're walking along these paths, you have a much clearer idea of where you are and where you're traveling to, and then we're gonna use the color, colored glass paths. We're gonna use colored glass paths to help people uh, figure out where they are, where they need to go, that kind of thing. And then you can associate a given person's tunnel with a given color. Should help um, make it less monochromatic and easier to figure out where you need to go. So let's grab some glass. And I think certain colors will look better than others. Maybe the lighter colors will look better. So let's start with light blue, magenta, I'm not sure about yellow. Yellow might be a bit strong. We're gonna probably have to use a lot. Use, let's use pink. And maybe lime. Let's be like Easter colors. Pastels. Let's start with some light pastel colors. And I probably don't need a heck of a lot. Let's make two stacks of each. Oops. Man, I hate when it happens. Dang it. Have to redo the whole thing. Uh, two stacks of each, so then it's probably it's probably more efficient to do that. Yes. Two stacks. Two stacks. And I, I, I'll, I'll test out all the different colors. I have all the different colors of dye here. Uh, minus brown. I don't think we're going to go with any grayscales. 
no white, no light gray, no gray, no black, and no, well, maybe we might use black actually for the nether portal section. Uh, but besides that, I want to use all like actual color colors, not brown, nothing drab like that. Okay, let's put these back. Ooh, they must be in the right order though. Let's put them in the right order. What order is the right order? I'm not sure. Oh, those are the same. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And I do have some ink sacks. Good. Okay, everything is falling into place. So the next thing to, to uh, try out, I want I just want to see what it looks like. So to do that, the only really way to see what it looks like is to replace a lot of the glass here in the flooring with, uh, with the actual stained glass. I'm also going to replace this. So let's see, this one is mine. What color do I want? I think I'm going to put light blue in mine. And we'll do this. And thank goodness for a silk touch picks. I think I actually, yeah, I got a silk touch shovel now. Let's do that. Is that faster? No, it's exactly the same. Is there a tool anymore that breaks, uh, that breaks glass fast? I think maybe shears do. I'm not, I'm not sure if there is, or maybe a sword. Could you put silk touch on a sword to get the, uh, the fast glass breaking? Maybe it's that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to break a bunch of this glass, or rather, I'm gonna replace it with the colored version. I'm gonna soak touch it and preserve it so we can reuse it with some other project. And then we'll uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like. Is it good? Is it bad? Does it make things better or wuss? <laughs> Sucker. Okay, we got a problem. We got a problem. That's right, I'm gonna deal with the problem. We've, we've got health regen is back on, so this this is still a problem. Uh, but it's not as big as a problem as it would have once been. Ethan and Doc thinks they know how to make a, a gold farm. This is how you this is how you make a gold farm. You just murder everyone mercilessly. Okay, so I'm still working on the changes. I've replaced all of the glass entrances at least, not all the glass altogether. Hey buddy, how you doing? Zombie pigmen greeting. Oh look, there's a there's a gold ingot. I've replaced all the entrances with colors. Uh, I haven't done all the paths. And I'm not sure, um, at least this first attempt, I'm not sure this is the right approach. It, I'm not, I'm not certain. Um, I'm going to leave it for a while and work on these gaps and see what, see how I like them. I think I definitely like them better. The only problem with them is that one of the goals was to remove all of the spawning spaces and having these stone bricks like this creates another set of spaces. I may replace these with slabs. That would that would fix it, stone brick slabs. But uh, I'm gonna keep working here. I'm gonna keep murdering zombie pigmen. Did you know that pigs are cannibals? They eat their own kind. They'll eat anything. We'll, I should say, we'll eat anything. Take that. Oh gosh, okay. And you're dead, all right. And one more, at least. Yeah, yeah. Come get some. <laughs> the way this place is laid out, it's kind of almost like a dungeon with all the uh, the staircases and whatnot. It's got rooms and staircases. That's all you need for a dungeon. Staircases, rooms, doors, monsters. Oh my god, look at all the zombies. Hey guys. Hi fellas. I need to... Uh... Okay, I need to run away for a bit. I needed to fill up my... My saturation and my food bar so that I could start regening health while I'm fighting them. Otherwise, they would start to uh, win a battle of attrition. Oh, another one. All right. Oh, a sword. Okay, I think I've mostly cleared them out. Oh, no, there's still more. Anyway, I'm going to keep working on the details. And I'll, I'll, <laughs> um, I'll give you an update once I've done some more. So, something that looks good, at least. Okay, so I'm sort of running out of time here. I am going to be leaving for PAX East, the convention in Boston, in just a couple hours, and I have to get this edited and uploaded. And so this should go live Friday, this video. Saturday morning at, I think, 10.30, we have a panel at PAX East. I don't know the exact URL for the stream, but uh, if you go, if you just Google, like, PAX East stream, you probably figure it out pretty 
easily, or you could go to the Mind Mind to Crack r subreddit. I'm sure there will be a link there. I would I would I would wager to, to guess. Um, there are some things coming along. Some things I don't think are working. Some things I think are are promising. This sort of reminds me of the farm building at Spawn that I built. That thing, when I started it out, I had this idea in my head, and after I made it, it didn't quite look the way I thought. And so I had to, I just worked on it and worked on it and worked on it, and I kept trying things until things started to work, and in the end, I really, really liked that project. And it, it didn't end up anything like what I thought it would in the beginning. This may be a similar project. Uh, for one thing, I don't think the, the colors really look right. I don't think they really fit this project. I'm going to leave them up for a while so that I can sort of think about it over the weekend. And sometimes if you just take a, a few days away from or a week away from a project, then you can come back to it with a, a fresh perspective. You've sort of forgotten all the stuff that you became uh, so convinced of. And when you go with an idea, sometimes you, it's sometimes hard to like uh, become, to, to stay flexible and to say, well, Maybe that idea doesn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Let me know in the comments what you think about the colors, what you think about the paths leading through. Uh, I think the paths are starting to look cool. I've had this idea. Uh, what if these things are sort of like pods? Uh, these things here, where each, t each tunnel is. And they're sort of held in place by the staircases. Like this would be sort of a frame kind of thing. And I sort of, let's see, which, where are we? Oh, we're on the wrong side for me to show you this. Let me move over here. I, I pulled out the detailing on the staircases on one side by one block to see if that would help emphasize that idea of them, where is it? Of them being a framework. Yeah, I did over there. Um, you can kind of see they're, they're sticking out one block from the wall. I think that looks kind of neat. I think that's definitely a, a cool idea. I may replace this entire thing with glass. We may try that. Uh, I don't know if the transparency will work. So some of the colors I think might work, some of them don't. This purple kind of looks cool because the portal's right there. It's the same color as the portal. Things like the orange and the yellow and the lime green, I don't think those really work. I don't know anybody who would want those colors for their tunnel. Maybe somebody does. I don't really like orange, at least not that shade of orange, uh, nor that lime green and yellow. Doesn't look like, doesn't look right. Blue looks possible. I don't know about the red. Maybe the light blue. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just pick like one or two colors and we'll just alternate. Maybe that would look a little more consistent. I don't know. <laughs> we're working on it. I'm going to keep working until it works, dang it. Until it looks awesome. I think we're making some kind of progress. But uh, yeah, I have to leave in just a few hours. I'm flying out. I have to leave for the airport at 3.30 a.m. My flight leaves at 5 something. So... uh I'm a little bit in a time cramp here. There's going to be a gap of about four days or five days between Mind to Crack episodes after this video. Um, I've never been to PAX East, so I don't really know what to expect. I may tweet out some images. I don't plan on making uh, vlogs because I don't have a camera good enough to do it. I might do it if I got a really good camera where the, the quality of the footage would be very good. Uh, but that's I, I don't have one right now, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I guess follow Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you want to see some images. I'll probably tweet some things. And there's a Kerbal Space Program tournament that I plan on entering. I don't plan on winning. I will probably be beaten by some eight-year-old savant Kerbal Space Program wizard. Uh, but that, okay, fine. That's it for today. That's it for today. <laughs> see you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.